Hey everyone, Erica here, Bear Fit Instructor. We're gonna do some deep stretching today. We're gonna to start with our legs wide apart, toes facing forward, arms coming up overhead, palms together. Bend those elbows, send the fingertips to the back of the room, send the hips forward. When you're ready to come up, reach those fingertips to the ceiling, keeping the shoulders mostly seated. Arms coming down to the horizon, flat back forward, pulling your head out away from your tail. When you get here, look down at one arm and look down at the other. And then we're gonna send our arms one in front, one behind until we tap the side body with the opposite arm. Bringing it back to neutral and releasing everything over, shaking your head yes and no. Bending those knees, rolling it up. Shoulder rolls to the back for four. Bringing those hands overhead, palms together. Bend the elbows, fingertips to the back of the room, hips forward. When you're ready, pulling those fingertips up to the sky, arms part to the horizon again, flat back forward again. Look down to one side, look down your arm to the other side. And this time when we tap, allow your body to come and side bend with you. As you take one arm in front, one arm behind, tapping on each side as you go. After a few on each side, find yourself back to neutral, releasing it all down. Shake the head yes and no. Plie, bending the knees, this time turning them out away from the body, walking the hands up on top of the legs. Nice long stretch, putting one shoulder in the middle, spiraling, twisting, looking over the other side. And switch, other shoulder comes in the middle. Twist and look over the other side. Toes come back forward, release everything down. Soften the knees, plie, roll up. This time, bringing those elbows back for four rolls. coming overhead, palms together, bend the elbows, send the fingertips back, hips forward. When you're ready, fingertips overhead, part the arms on the horizon, flat back forward. Looking down one side and the other, arms first, body second. After a few on each side, let everything relax over. This time, if you can, walk those hands behind your legs. Take your stretch here or bend the elbows. Walking both hands over to one side. Option to take your inside arm, thread it through to grab your other leg. The lower you are, the more challenging the stretch. The higher you are, the easier. Release center, pushing it up halfway, look forward. And releasing it over, walk over to your other leg. Option to take the inside arm, thread it through and grab your opposite leg. Lower it is the harder the stretch, higher it is the easier. When you're ready, release it back to center. Looking forward again, elongating the spine. Plie, bend the knees, rolling up sequentially, one vertebra at a time. This time, taking all your arms, and a circle motion backwards, 
no right way or wrong way to do this. Whatever feels good for you for four. And we'll turn those toes out away from the midline, taking a lateral stretch over to one side. Your bottom arm can wrap the belly, it can attach to the leg, whatever feels right for you. We're gonna round and contract over. Exhale, glue the belly into the spine. And then your top arm circles slowly, starting back and then coming forward, following it with your head in focus. After three of those, a fourth one pulls you up. Switching stretch, other side. Find the most comfortable place for that bottom arm. Exhale, contract, rounding over. And three slow circles. Following it with your head in focus. After about three of those, do a quick one to pull you up. And walk or step the feet together. Now we're in parallel position with our, our feet closer together than where we started. We're gonna do a foot exercise that we normally do in down dog. I'm gonna turn to the side just so you can see it. We're gonna bend the knees. Then we're gonna lift the heels. Then we're gonna lengthen through straight knees and then lower the heels back down. Let's do that again. It does require a little bit more core activation than when we're doing it um, with weight bearing in our feet and our hands. And it helps us focus on our balance. After we do three of those, we're gonna send it back by going up to the balls of the feet first then plie, keeping those heels lifted, dropping the heels down and going back to neutral. Do that for two more. And if you have a clumsy moment like me and you want to do for four instead of three, you have plenty of time. Facing back front. Taking those hands up overhead, same exercise we started with today. Bending those elbows, fingertips to the back, hips forward. Reaching it up to the sky. Arms parting, flat back over. Looking down one side, looking down the other side. One arm in front, one arm behind. And then take your body with you. Coming back to neutral, releasing everything forward, shaking the head yes and no. We're keeping one arm down, other arm reaches up, op option to bend your opposite knee, and working through the hand, wrist, and fingers. Just exploring movement on that top hand. Option to take that top arm, tuck it behind the back and hold. You can reach for your opposite quad. Keep pulling that heart open to the side wall. Keep breath in your body. Keep that shoulder pulled back. Don't let it collapse forward. Option to just let that hand down, or you can take a nice, slow toss to the front creating space in your body wherever is needed, taking care of your shoulder. And we're gonna plie, roll up, one vertebra at a time. Looking all the way up, bringing it back to neutral, dropping that head to one side, same side, hand on top. And move your hand to the back of the head, looking down the diagonal line. 
Option to reach your opposite arm away from the body, tuck it behind the back and hold. And release, drop it in the other direction. A little bit of weight on top. Move that hand to the back of the head. Option to take that opposite arm with you. And when you release, you can just find a little circle of the head in one direction. And when you're finished with that side, send it back in the other direction. And when you finish, bring those palms up overhead. Bend the elbows one last time. Hands to the back of the room, hips to the floor. One more time. Then reaching up, out, lengthening the spine. Bring those arms down to the horizon. Flat back forward. Look to one side. Look to the other side. One arm in front of the other. Then swipe the body with you. Relax and release everything forward. Shake the head yes and no. And then we're gonna bring our opposite arm up, bending the opposite leg, mobilizing hand, wrist, and fingers. Option to bring that top arm behind the back and hold. Keep the sternum shining open to the side wall. Keep that shoulder pulled back. And you can just release that hand down, or if you want a bit more of a challenge, you can toss it up and over, making space in the body the whole way. Then when you get there, relax and release over. On every exhale, try to relax the body further forward. Walking up the shins, elongating the spine, looking forward, release and the knee heel. When we get to the top this time, we're going to bend one knee and roll down that same side. At the bottom, we're going to switch to bend our other knee and roll up that side. Keep that knee bent and immediately send it back down, same side. Switch at the bottom. Rolling up, same side, bend knee. At the top, we're gonna to switch it. So our opposite knee is bent as side that we're rolling down. When we get to the bottom, we switch the bent knee, rolling up the straight leg. Keeping that leg straight, sending it back down over the straight leg. Switching bent legs at the bottom. Rolling up the straight leg. From here, we're gonna cross and open our arms. If you want, you can take them out to diagonal lines. We'll catch the next one cross front. Hold it in tight. Release and switch. Release and switch, but this time we bend the elbow. Send it right up underneath our chin. It might feel a little bit like it's choking you. Release the hand in the back. You always have the option to twist here if that feels good. Don't lose track of pushing the arm back for the stretch. Release, drop, switch, other side.
and release drop, switch overhead. And once you have your stretch in place, you can reach laterally. Add any kind of movement that feels nice. And then we're going to switch arms. Great work. We're going to release those arms down, shake them out if you need to. Find a way to come seated on your mat. You can get a quick drink of water if you need it. We're gonna revisit a shoulder exercise we did just a few weeks ago. So keep one leg tucked in, extend the other leg out straight. Same arm as straight leg reaches behind your back with an open palm. Other arm makes a fist, placing the fist inside, grab and close across your fist, and then pull the elbow back to stretch the shoulder. Take a few breaths here and see if you can keep drawing that shoulder or the elbow back to the midline. And then you'll release and switch, so opposite arm grabbing the fist closest to the straight leg, drawing that elbow back. We're gonna release that stretch, reach that hand away from the straight leg, and opposite arm circles overhead, just like we did with our lateral stretches for three slow. And after the third slow, that fourth one is going to shampoo our hair. Keep that elbow bent, opening the sternum to the front, or turn look all the way up at the ceiling. Whatever feels great for you. After a few breaths here, we exhale and contract, relax forward. Rolling up center, switch legs. So, same thing, other side. Same arm, straight leg comes back behind with an open palm. Other fist goes inside, grabbing down on that fist and pulling that elbow back. And we'll release. Same stretch, other side. And then reaching that arm out away from the straight leg. Top arm circles for three slow. Really getting to that upper back and shoulders. After the third slow and shampooing the hair, keeping that elbow bent, keeping that sternum open to the front, or turn and look up at the ceiling. On your next exhale, contract or round over. Bringing everything center, bringing that straight leg close. So the last stretch we're gonna do is also a shoulder stretch. I'll just show you from the side view. Placing those hands behind your seat. We're going to think about pulling our elbows close together, keeping our arms sturdy, starting in parallel position, feet as well sending the hips up until you're in a tabletop position. Now, if you're in a released pose here, you won't feel the stretch in your shoulders, but if you really send your hips up, 
and think about pulling your elbows together, you should get a really nice deep shoulder stretch. A lot of people like to release their head back, and that is not comfortable for me, so I won't demonstrate it, but you're always welcome to place your head wherever is best for you. Keep lifting those hips, keep pulling those elbows close. And when you're ready, bring it all down. Lengthen out your legs. Reach forward for the balls of your feet or wherever you can grab on your legs. We're going to stay here for a few breaths on every exhale, inching our upper body closer to our legs. Keeping the same side hand attached to foot, threading the opposite one through, looking over the shoulder. If you want a deeper stretch, send the fingertips through, look under the arm. And switch last side. Release it center, roll it up. And you are all stretched out for today. Thank you so much for taking class with me. And I hope to see you again next week.